Do you think plants have consciousness? Aries has sent a video with the answer. Enjoy! Hello again. This is the second part of the episode on consciousness. And now for questions, answers, and other formulations. Remember, you are always welcome to ask questions in the comment field. I answer what I can, or collect questions together for answers in a video. Question, how can you say that plants have consciousness? It is of course not a consciousness, that is comparable with human consciousness. Plants don't have brains either etc. But plants can, among other things, sense between light and dark, and they have different defense mechanisms, if they are threatened. They can also communicate between each other in different ways. For example, some plants and trees can emit fragrances, which warns other species of danger, whereby defense mechanisms are activated for example in the form of excretion of toxins. To be able to detect and respond to such challenges require some form of awareness, which is precisely the force of nature, which also drives the entire plant kingdom continuously to find the best possible solutions for survival. Okay. Is this universal force of nature then the same as God? It depends on how the individual interpret and define the concept of God. Since the concept of God and gods usually always are related to religions and the like, the comparison is deliberately avoided here. Even if it is said that, God is in everything, then the concept of God is mostly understood in religious contexts and moreover most often in a human sense and interpretation which, as described above, is not adequate. But if an individual's thoughts about God are in harmony with the universal consciousness as a force of nature, then anyone is of course free to use that comparison. One more question. How can consciousness exist in something that is not alive? It can, because the wave frequencies of the natural force, think for example of FM, AM, Wi-Fi, etc., can move freely in all material and voids. This also applies to atomics and molecular levels, just as it applies in cosmic and intergalactic levels. The force of nature is everywhere at the same time, thereby independent of time, place, and size ratio. The power of nature is thus to be found in the internal structures of atomic nuclei as well as in the infinite universe structures.